In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the bokeh effect in GIMP. Now we can see that we have one here done already. This can be done with images and backgrounds as well, but I'm just going to give you this nice uh, tutorial using the circle tool. So I'm going to create a new template. I chose 1600 by 1200 pixels. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do my background. I'm going to make my background black. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to a new layer. This layer I'm going to call my dark purple layer. Now, because I'm using lots of layers, I'm going to name my layers over here to keep track. So on this one, I'm going to change my color to dark purple. Again, I have that preset. You can choose your color as well. I'm going to choose my gradient tool and I'm going to want my FG to transparent. I want my radial on. And I want to set my uh, opacity, meaning how much it can be seen through, to about 50% uh, percent here. So I'm going to draw this across. And again, you can choose the effect that you want. Uh, a smaller circle or smaller drag will give you a smaller circle. I'm going to kind of put mine in the left-hand corner here. Uh, next, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to a new layer again. This layer I'm going to call random, uh, and I'm going to call it random 30. Uh, 30 because that's the blur I'm going to use on this layer. So I'm going to come over to my brushes. Uh, I'm going to choose my dynamic random. Uh, I'm going to change my size to 600. I have my jitter applied at 500 and you can notice here I went up to my hardness and I changed that to 100. Now you're going to notice as I drag my paintbrush across, it's going to get larger and smaller, it's going to shake. That's so I don't get like this standard printed effect. So I'm just going to change my color to white now. And you're going to notice because I'm randomly choosing uh, my variables on this one, you're going to see my circles are all different. Um, I'm going to draw about five to eight of them, whatever your look you're getting to it. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to my blur my Gaussian blur, and I'm going to set that to 30, hence the reason why I named this layer 30. And that's going to do that blur, and we're going to see that there. What this is going to do, it's going to allow us to create depth. So I'm going to come up here to a new layer. This layer I'm going to call random 10. I'm going to repeat that same process. And this time I'm going to go filter. I'm going to blur my Gaussian and I'm going to change that to a 10. So what I'm doing again is I'm creating depth in this by the different blur rates. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this one random one. I'm going to do that same process. And remember anytime that you don't like a circle that's drawn, you can always go back control Z and remove that uh, circle to get the effect that you're desiring. So I'm going to come through and I'm going to change this blur to a one. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer again. Uh, this layer I'm going to call clouds. I'm going to come up to my filter, render, clouds, and I'm going to do this randomized with an XY blur of a, a four. So you notice that doesn't do much, but when we do our new layer, which is going to be our gradient layer, I'm going to come back to my saturation. I'm going to change it to linear. I'm going to go to a full color spectrum down at the bottom here. And I'm going to draw this on. And now I'll come up here to my mode and I'm going to change it as an overlay. So we can see that a, a different blurred, a distorted effect that we've created. Uh, so I hope this helps. Uh, as you go and bound and create your own layer. Uh, if I was to do this again, I'd probably change some of my circles. And again, this doesn't have to be just done with drawing tools. This can also be done with layering different images using the same effect.